The first thing that we're asked for is the linear regression equation. And remember I showed it to you on the previous page, but we're looking underneath. It tells us what our dependent variable is, our independent, and then this right here is our regression equation, which actually comes from these two values here, where they mention our intercept and our slope. Now, remember that we put a hat on our y's because that tells us it's a predicted y. That's equal to 9.061 plus 0.877x, where x is my initial drop and y is my duration. You could also write duration hat is equal to 9.061 plus 0.877 initial drop, where you actually plug in the, the variable names rather than using x and y. What can we say about the sum of squares for any other residual equation or any other linear equation describing this relationship? Well, remember, we're, our goal is to minimize the sum of squares, so any other equation is going to have a larger SSE. They're asking us to interpret the slope and the y-intercept. Now, I want to find the slope and the y-intercept, which we've used already in our equation. Just to remind you, they're here. The way that we interpret y-intercept, think about what a y-intercept is. The y-intercept is when you have zero starting value, so zero intercept, meaning that there was no time passed. Where are we starting at? So what's our duration? I'm sorry, when our y-intercept is when we have an initial drop of a certain height, then what's our time going to be? We would say at zero feet drop, the duration in seconds, is, and we pull that intercept value of 9.061. I'm going to underline for you here, 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 and here. Those are the things that get replaced when you're using your equation. So this is always zero, but then we're talking about drop is our x value. And this is our y, y variable. I should say x variable. And this is our slope. Okay. Whatever question you're talking about, you would just change out those values. Interpreting the slope, we're talking about rise over run. Whatever our y value is, remember y is duration. And then this is our initial drop. But for every one foot drop, the duration increases 0 0.877 seconds. Okay, now again, this is the values would that would change. So you're talking about the slope is this, the duration is going to be your y variable. And then the um, seconds is going to be your x variable. And this drop is the um, x unit. Find the, predict the duration of a roller coaster with an initial drop of 173 feet. So we use our regression equation where we're talking about our prediction is going to be 9.061 plus 0 0.877 times 173. That equals 9.061 plus 151.721, which gives us 160.782 seconds. 
Now, the Steel Dragon 2000, located at Nagashima Spa Land Amusement Park in My Prefecture, Japan, has an initial drop of 307 feet. Should we use our data analysis to predict the duration of this ride? Well, is that in our range of X values? Our initial drops here never go past 261. This means we would say no, as that is extrapolation. That's all I have for you today.